Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to talk to you about the new prototype flight computer that I've been working on for a while now. I have designed this computer to test different circuitry and components as well as figure out how to program them. I never intend on using this computer in a rocket as the mechanical connections and vibration in the rocket could cause major problems during flights. Essentially the way this computer works is by taking a bunch of data in through all of its sensors, sending it to the Arduino Nano just here, and then sending it down a cable into the computer, and then I open up the serial monitor in Arduino, in the uh, Arduino IDE, and I can view all the different measurements and stuff that these sensors are putting out. And then if I want the pyro channels or something like that to do something, I can simply use these switches or these buttons, it's got LEDs to indicate things, stuff like that. So this computer uses an Arduino Nano just here with an Atmega328 processor on it. Um, sensing data during flight, it has an MPU6050, uh, it's an inertial measurement unit, so that measures acceleration on all three axes as well as angles. So if this computer's moved on different angles, uh, this sensor here essentially knows that and can send that through these header pins um, to control with the thrust vector control gimbal, um, both the X and Y axis on the thrust vector control gimbal uh, to stabilize the rocket during flight. It also has a BMP280, that's a barometric pressure sensor. Um, what that does is measure altitude by measuring the pressure, so the higher up you go, the thinner the air pressure is, uh, so it uses that to measure altitude. Um, so then I can deploy parachutes and stuff like that all automatically at different altitudes. Um, as a micro SD card module here for data logging. So during flight, every second it's logging hundreds of points of data from all the different sensors and what's going on. So that I can then go through that data afterwards and see exactly what the computer's done, what the sensors have done. Um, and therefore, if there's a problem with the rocket, which is highly likely, I can try to use that to figure out what's going on, where have I gone wrong. Um, has an input terminal for the battery. Uh, an output terminal here for one of the pyro channels. This only has one pyro channel, although the final computer will have three. Um, that pyro channel is controlled with this simple N-channel MOSFET over here. So that just gets the battery power and essentially feeds it straight through here, um, which allows me to use an igniter for a black powder ejection charge to deploy a parachute, or for nichrome wires to break rubber bands and stuff and deploy landing legs. Simple things like that. This would not ignite the rocket motor. The launch pad itself is going to do that. Um, and the way that'll work, when the motor is ignited, the rocket's going to go up. The MPU6050 will detect a, th a, uh, a acceleration spike, sorry. Um, so the computer's going to suddenly go like this when the rocket launches. And then the computer will essentially change modes into ascent mode, flight mode. Um, where it's going to start using the thrust vector control, start data logging, things like that. Um, this has a bunch of other passive components to control different things. Um, a 5 volt regulator to make sure that no matter what power source is going into it, there's always 5 volts going into the Arduino Nano. Um, then has a buzzer and some LEDs, um, essentially just to indicate what's going on. Uh, give a bit of indication to that. And then a button and two switches, which allow me to just make it do different things while I'm testing. I'm looking forward to designing the final flight computer. It, it will be far smaller, about a third of the size of the, uh, of the prototype over here. It will have far more functionality, including a lot more pyro channels, uh, different sensors and stuff like that. Um, it will also have components on both sides, including some S&D components. Um, so overall, the whole thing should be far more professional um, on a professional PCB, which I'm going to design on my computer and then order. Anyway, thanks for making it this far through the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did. Uh, if you're interested in the project, please subscribe. Um, that way you'll see all my videos. I have some other videos on this channel that you can look at which sort of introduce the project a bit more. Um, I'm also working on a prototype rocket just here. Um, so I'm getting a 3D printer soon, hopefully. And I will be able to use that to make most of the prototype components for this. So there'll be a video on that very soon, but for now, I'm out. See you next time.